What's up everybody, James again from RDP, we're here doing our uh, second installment for 2017, we've got XFC 29 coming up this week, we're on Thai week, um, we're here at Rampage Thai Boxing, uh, the home of Reese Lightning, you all might know him, he's well known in the Muay Thai scene, um, um, I want to thank him and his gym. Uh, for letting us come down and do the interview. Um, you know, like I said before, if you haven't got your tickets, uh, make sure you get down, get in contact with the right people so you can get down there. There's some great fights coming up, man. Um, second reason why I'm here is to have a chat with this man right here, as you can see. We've all seen him before on XFC. Um, I'm going to introduce him as Michael Anthony McDaniel, God's Warrior. How are we today, bro? What's up, man? Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Well. We're on fight week, man. So, how uh, are you feeling? I'm pumped, feeling man. Good. I'm pumped. I can't wait. It's, the fight was tomorrow. I, don't yeah. I just want to get there. Um, you know, we've seen you fight on XFC 17. So, you've, you've been in the game for a little while. Uh, we saw you fight against Maui Tukumala, which you won with a TKO, I can say. Um, how did you feel going into that first fight, man? Like that? I was so nervous. Like I, was, I felt privileged. Justin Lawrence at the time, he was the only for XFC, called yep. me up, and I had seen Maui like the week before. You know, because we had done the aftershock, and he was amazing, strong. Uh, but it was a challenge I wanted to take. Yep. And God bless me. Man. Yep. So I was really happy to get the result. We seen your second fight with uh, XFC 26. I think it was. Um, obviously you're going to come away with a win, forward, uh, Adam, yeah. how did you come off the loss, man? Well, you know, it just, um, every experience is a good experience, you know, it was great on the ground, uh, taught me what I needed to know, uh, I took that uh, brain assault and just kept going, yeah. and then I ran into people that wanted to help me, and, uh, you know, my game's a little bit more well-rounded now, yeah. but uh, Adam, he was a great competitor, and uh, I really thank him for that, that opportunity. You know. um, uh, yeah, we saw you again at XFC 27, which is a big fight. That was the big, the big 11 second knockout. Yeah. Um, you know, that, that video went viral. I was actually there because I had uh, Matt Moore yeah. before straight after you. Um, how do you feel, man? Like, the, 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 it's a surprise. Yeah, when, we saw you, when we saw the knockout, you know, obviously everybody was freaking out because you know, guys not moving, blah, blah. Yeah. You yourself looked like you were. I'm freaking out there for a little bit. You know, you're obviously worried about Jamal. Yeah, it's sort of like a, you know, I, it happened. You know, next thing I know, I'm on top of the fence celebrating. Yeah. I didn't see him moving. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't take uh, pleasure out of hurting people. You know, this is not the sport that I want to be in to hurt people. I just want to establish myself, be able to express myself freely. Yeah. But uh, when that happened, man, I, you know, I wanted to make sure that he was okay first. Yeah. But. After he was okay, I was, I was celebrating. It was something I'd never done before. Yeah. Uh, at that time, it was pivotal because I was just worrying about if I should go on with the sport, if I was going to be good enough for the sport. Yeah. And then uh, that just let me know I was, I was here to stay. Yeah. Yeah. To my knowledge, I think it's probably the fastest ever knocked out in Australia. That's fine. Yeah, it was. And uh, people back from home in Hawaii, uh, yeah. Kanoa Lake, he was calling me up. My boy uh, Neil, Neil Everett from ESPN. Yeah. Uh, congratulate, congratulate me and things like that. It all happened so fast, I really didn't have time to digest it. Yeah, yeah. And, um, but at the same time, I didn't want to become big-headed about it because, hey, that could happen to anybody, it just yeah. happened to happen to me. Yeah. And that's, you know, when I, when I want to talk about God and blessing me, those are the things that happen. You know what I mean? I worked hard, I took my losses like a man, and uh, I just kept going. And next uh, thing you know, I had that result. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm hoping to keep that. I, I want to just keep knocking people out in the first round. I want to be known for that. Your last XFC was uh, XFC 28. Yes. Um, obviously, everyone saw the footage of the collapse and everything like that. How did you, how did you go with that? There was a no contest against James Bucky from New Zealand. Actually, you got the win. He got the he win. Yeah, he win. got the win, and deservedly so. He yeah. did everything that he was supposed to do. Yeah. Uh, no excuses. Um, I had a lot of things going on in my life. You know, my brother was uh, diagnosed with cancer, stage four. I, I was trying to train. I was trying to keep uh, up with my uh, regimen and everything. And um, you know, I try to do like a 
a nine kilo cut in six hours, you know, and things like that. That's just stupidity, actually. Yeah. I probably should have pulled out of that fight, but uh, James Rocky he won that fight as yep. far as I'm concerned. Yep. But, um, you know, just going into that fight, I was on top of him, and I was beating him. Uh, if that fight had to continue, I would have won. Yep. But, uh, you know, all credit to him, and uh, there was a great lesson, so that's why I'm in the shape that I'm in now, yep. because I'm never going to let that happen again. Yeah, all we've seen with you, you know, you got out of that escape, you got out of the, the rear naked choke, and, um, yeah, unfortunately, Happened and, and those are things I'd never done before. You know, before yeah. it was hard for me to get up, but you know, I did the reverse. Yeah, I was on top of the wheel. Yeah. And there was really nothing he had for me. Uh, no disrespect to James, man. We we talked, and yeah. uh, he's gone through some similar experiences, things like that. And I feel for him. Yeah. But uh, you know, on the night he was more professional, and yeah. uh, you know, he deserved it. Would you consider him rematch? Well, the way I'm going now, you know, I feel like I can get to welterweight. Yeah. You know, that's what he's gone to. He's gone back oh, to welterweight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the reason why we didn't have that fight. Not that he's avoiding me. Yeah. You know, he's he comes from a, a very, very fast uh, fighting background. Yeah. His family's awesome. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I would love to have that fight back. Fight back in English. So let's do it. Um, XFC 29, man. You got Nicky West. Yep. Um, you're fighting up in weight. You've had from your last couple of fights. Um, how's the training camp, man? We're, we're, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're down here at Rampage Club. Yeah. Yeah. Reese is killing me. Yeah. You know, he, he forgets that I'm turning 48. Yeah. This year. Oh, you know, no, no, no. I'm turning 48. Wow. I think he forgets about that, but uh, I, I, I like I like the fact that he pushes me. Yeah. Uh, he's going to make me uh, a better fighter. Um, just all his techniques, yeah. his patience, his, uh, his vision for what kind of fighter I can be. Yeah. And I, I think I'm going to get to the next level. Yeah. Reese doesn't train everybody in a blanket way. He takes that specific fighter yeah. and he makes sure that he does what that fighter needs. Yeah. You know what I mean? He calls you up. He's on top of it. I've had good trainers before. Yeah. But you know, I'm really glad that I'm with Reese today. So give us a quick rundown of how training works for you. You know, concentrating on your ground game, your stand up. Cardio mostly. Uh, you know, just being older and things like that. That's the that's the thing that uh, really hampers me most. Uh, that's why I've, you know I've lost the weight. Yep. I'm down to about 88 now. You know what I mean? And the reason why is because I was going to fight James Crockett, yeah. and uh, I just wanted to make sure I was ready for him. I, uh, and then uh, you know he went down a middle uh, well welterweight, and then they put in the West. So the cardio is a thing because when I'm when I'm fit, I can think. When I'm fit, I can fight. And you know, I keep my uh, game strategy. After I run out of gas, what do I think is on instinct? And uh, that's not going to happen this time. I'm ready. I'm fit. And uh, you know my endurance is going to be amazing. So he's going to have to do something. That was my um, next question. So you actually start your run. Fight to fight. Are you going in? Going? You know, I've got to find out. Yeah. Well, that's that's the thing. You know. Because I lived out in York, I lived out in Bush, a lot of my training was just on YouTube. Yeah. You know, fight, you know, training or no training, I'm still going to the events. Yeah. But uh, what I what I failed to do was study my opponents. Yeah. And uh, this time I've studied. i studied and I studied. He's, he's a blue belt. Yeah. He's very good on the ground, very strong. But uh, I think he's not going to be able to keep moving my pace. He's yeah. not going to be able to keep me on the ground. He gets me on the ground. And, uh, I, I see that look in people's eyes, man. There's just nothing that, that you can do. They like, can't get me on the ground. They, they definitely can't do me on the stand-up. Everybody wants to get me on the ground. Yeah. Nobody's going to mess with me on the stand-up. Yeah. If you mess with me on the stand-up, you're going to sleep.